The ancient Egyptian mummification process was a complex and intricate procedure designed to preserve the body for the afterlife. Here is a simplified overview of the mummification process. Removal of internal organs, the brain was often discarded. Using a long hook, it was pulled out through the nostrils. The internal organs, except for the heart, were removed. These included the lungs, liver, stomach, and intestines. The organs were placed in special containers called canopic jars. Desiccation, after the removal of the internal organs. The body was cleaned with palm wine and rinsed with water from the Nile. The body was then packed with natron, a type of natural salt. Natron helped in the dehydration process by absorbing moisture from the body. Wrapping, once dried, the body was wrapped in linen bandages. Amulets and magical charms were sometimes placed between the layers of bandages. The wrapped body was then placed in a coffin, which was often with scenes and texts meant to help the deceased in the afterlife. Final rituals, the mummy was then placed in a tomb along with the deceased, belongings, food offerings, and other items deemed necessary for the afterlife. Priests performed rituals and spells to ensure the deceased's safe journey to the afterlife and to protect the mummy from decay. It's important to note that the mummification process evolved over time and varied depending on the social status and wealth of the deceased. The elite and royalty received more elaborate mummification treatments than commoners. The ancient Egyptians believed that mummification was essential for the soul to recognize and re-inhabit the body in the afterlife. The preservation of the physical form was crucial for eternal life in the next world.